today we are checking out Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, Asheville is um, a city in the western uh, part of North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains. It's known for a uh, vibrant art scene and historic architecture, uh, including the dome top Basilia of St. Lawrence. The vast 19th century Biltmore Estate displays artwork by masters like Renoir. Uh, the downtown art district is filled with galleries and museums and is uh, near to uh, River Art District. Uh, formerly factory buildings house artists studios so a very artsy city we're gonna check out today uh, the temperature here is uh, approximately 80 degrees it's April 4th uh, we're gonna do a little walkthrough for you guys and see what we can find look at that nice ride beautiful Audi all right let's do this one of the many gift shops checking out the merchandise okay very cool stuff. And there's Eric over here. What'd you find, buddy? The candy? Oh my god. Fill this, fill this up with candy. 20 bucks. That uh huh. Was 30 bucks, that was 100 bucks. Wow. 100 bucks fills this up for you guys. Very cool. Oh, this almost has that. Uh, that would be like old Cracker thing. <laughs> this has a Cracker Barrel feel to it. Huh. I hello guys <laughs> lots of candy in this cool store country store which which is uh ginormous it's got two floors i do believe eric show me what you found buddy What's that? Show me. What? I don't know if I like that, to be honest with you. Those things kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. Look at Curious George over here. Check this guy out. I don't like George. You don't like George? Okay. I like the what did mommy find? Dinosaur. Uh, what is that? Sasquatch? Oh, yeah. He lives in the Smokies. Heck yeah, we Look should get chicken. that. Look at There's some cool grub you can get, some sauces. Look at this cheap thing. It's a cloth for loose leaf tea. I like it. It's funny. Cookies. Mm-hmm. Some preserves, peach, cherry, blackberry. Nice. Some uh, Georgia peaches. The gummy bear. Oh, oh look at the shark. I see gummy bear. Those are small, Eric. You can't handle this gummy bear. Oh, look at this. Carolina. It's only three feet long. It's nothing. Oh, oh these are these are hot gummies. Oh yeah, look at those. Spicy Golden gummies. Some of the hottest, hottest gummies ever created. Consuming may lead to extreme discomfort. I think we'll have Carolina to pass in the hot gummies. The Carolina River is the one I put right at the top. I think I can do it. I don't know, you did the ghost pepper um, chip challenge and you like were crying and I really thought I was going to have to bring it in the emergency room. So let's go. <laughs> Which way? This way? <laughs> it's 
So we are walking down Biltmore Street right now. And across the street is the Fine Arts Center. Hello. Yeah, there's a lot. What I, I know I'm going to love the murals and the artwork uh, all across this town. There's a movie theater, I believe. Lost King. Never heard of it. Look at that beautiful, this is called Bender Gallery. Some pretty pieces out here on display. Um, as far as top, top attractions, this is according to Trip Advisors. Uh, the top attractions here in Asheville, North Carolina. Number one, Biltmore, which is a historic uh, site, uh, history museum, uh, huge mansion. That's number one, the Biltmore uh, Museum will take you about all day to explore the gardens, the interior. It's a huge estate um, built by Wonderbilt. The suck. The second attraction is the North Carolina Arbitorium, beautiful botanical garden. Uh, the third is the Folk Art Center. Uh, fourth is the Asheville Visitors Center. Number five is the Asheville Pinball Museum. So if it's a rainy day, unlike today, and if you like old school pin pinball machines, you might want to check out the museum. Uh, Basilia of St. Lawrence, number six. Number seven is Lexing Lexington Glass Works. Number eight, Grove Wood Village. Uh, number nine is Woolworth Walk. And number 10 is Western North Carolina Nature Center. Um, you also might want to check out the Baltimore Village and the Blue Ridge Mountains to the east of um, the city. We're gonna check out this cool little uh, restaurant. We got some nice refreshing drinks here, coffees and teas. A look at this cool setup, very pretty. I love it, so nice. to table Get back on This is more of a bread bakery and bagels. This is like sandwiches and stuff, not really um, like sweets and desserts, but it looks pretty cool. Can, can I look at your menu real quick? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So they serve breakfast sandwiches here, farmhouse sandwich, scrambled egg, sausage, spinach. Sounds delicious, probably tastes even better. Bagels and toast, coffee options espressos a whole array of options thank you so much nice welcoming place look at the artwork though so nice all right now Asheville is in Buncombe County, which is 
uh, located at the confluence of the French Broad and Swanona rivers. It is the largest city in West North, Western North Carolina and it's the state's 11th most populous city. With a 2020 census, the population here is roughly 94,589. And there's the oh it's closed right now i wanted to check out the theater real quick but they're closed so it would be nice to take a peek inside the historic building but i'm sure we'll see a lot of historic buildings during this walk and yep we're passing the art museum as far as the economy here in Asheville some of uh, major corporations who are headquartered in Asheville area include Home Trust uh, Bank Shares, Ingalls, Earth Fair, The Biltmore Company, uh, Moog Music, as well as um, New Belgium Brewing Company. Some of their major employers include Mission Health System, Boncombe County School System, Ingalls Market, the Biltmore Company, State of North Carolina. Look, all right, so that's some of their major employers here in Asheville. Look at this awesome sphere on top of that rock. A lot of folks come here for pictures and today is the perfect day for it. So why are we going this way? Uh, I think we're gonna go down there. Okay. Cause there's a lot of cool uh, statues. No agenda. Oh, a chocolate lounge? What? The French Broad. Is it Broad? French Broad Chocolate Lounge. This is called. Oh, nice. Good. I just want to check this place out. Wow, look at that setup. Okay. Who would like some chocolate cake? Look at that giant, delicious, triple layer chocolate cake. Wow. So what's nice about the city, you have the Smoky Mountains on the west side of the city, and you have the Blue Ridge Mountains on the east side. So if you're an outdoorsy person, you like to hike, explore, check out some beautiful waterfalls, um, and do some um, white water rafting, zip lining, a uh, lot kayaking, fishing, and of course hiking, lots of outdoor uh, options, mountain biking, etc. Uh, the downtown area has uh, a funky and eccentric feel to it. Um, very lively, clean, welcoming, safe city. Uh, a lot of smiling faces around. There's the Asheville Fire Department. There's over 30 art galleries in downtown alone. An incredible culinary uh, scene. The foodie culture uh, and a ton of uh, live music performances throughout. So a nice music scene. A little bit for everybody here. And that's why it's such a big tourist destination, especially in the summertime. Roger McGuerin Green. 
right. Pretty little mural on the side of this building of a restaurant here. Folks playing some instruments. And look at that beautiful outdoor restaurant. And this is where the folks come to listen to some live performance in the park. And this is actually called Pack Square Park. And this is the city of Asheville. I b believe it's a municipal building up ahead. Let's see if we can take a sneak peek inside. Check out some of the architecture inside this beautiful building. Oh, yeah. Can you even go inside or what? Hi. Is this a town hall? Is it okay to take a peek of the architecture in the hallway? Just two seconds, just visiting. Walking into the city hall. <laughs> All right, come on. We're inside, so we're gonna check a, take a look at the lobby. Some offices here to our right. Water payments. So we're just a bunch of offices here. Wow, check this out, Eric. USS Asheville. That's a cool little display, guys. Walter Ash USS Asheville exhibit. There's a few other military ships on display. Okay, cool. And here we have the up close and personal view of the Boncombe County Courthouse. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Look at that beautiful, imposing building. This is where you go to court. Most people don't want to go in this. Here we have a memorial park. He's checking out He's the. like, come on. <laughs> who is this lady? Does it tell you who she is? Dedicated to those who gave us peace, liberty, and freedom, and to the. Yeah, let's go. Let me check out this sign. Thousands of black people were the victims of racial terror lynching in the United States between 1865 and 1950. There's, okay, there's an information bulletin. I just wanna take a quick look at this restaurant. It looks so inviting and artsy. Just to give you guys an idea of their culinary art scene 
all mixed into one. Look how nice this place looks. It's called Twisted Laurel Eatery Lounge. And they have a nice little bar. Very nice restaurant. Very cool. There's some artwork up there too. There's a nice hibachi sushi restaurant called Miyaka House Asian Food. I just want to take a look. This is where you get your sushi fill. Very nice. And there's their menu over here. Let's take a look at the sushi specials real quick. Prices are very reasonable. We might have to come back here for dinner actually because I love sushi big fan just to share some statistical information according to citydata.com as I mentioned earlier the population is just under 93,000 and the city has boomed since the year 2000, increasing population by 34 percent. Males 44,000, females 48,800. Uh, the median resident age is 39. The household income in 2019 uh, it, the median household income is 52,339. What's up? Oh, can we go inside check it out? And this is the Marriott. Hi. This is inside the Marriott. Beautiful, beautiful hotel lobby. Check this out. A nice place to lay your head down for sure. Very luxurious and fancy. All right, we're gonna carry on. This is called Old European. Oh, wow, let's check it out. They moved, it oh, it smells so nice here. Wow, okay. Wow, check this place out. It's called Old European. Just take a quick peek at there. This is what we were looking for, the dessert scene. Oh my god, I think we struck gold. We struck gold, yes. should not have one for that chocolate. Oh my god, yes. Look at that, amazing. So, I was going over the statistics, and uh, as far as housing goes, in 2019, ho housing units, mean price for a housing unit is roughly $349,646 for uh, a detached home. And for a townhouse, you can spend roughly 260,000. Again, this is based on 2019 statistics. I'm sure the prices have skyrocketed since. One thing I will say about Asheville, their poverty rate, believe it or not, is almost 15.5%, uh, which is fairly high. So uh, that's a little troubling. Hopefully the city can improve on that by providing economic opportunities to folks. I want to try, I want to try everything over yeah, here. I do too. But Look at this uh, gluten, so well I don't care if it's gluten free or not, but this Rijo John, John C. Moose cake, I think. Yeah, give me your card. Uh, it's in my, you know, you should have full access to my card at this point. <laughs> Kids are finding something to do. What'd you get there, Missy? What? More? So we just went to the chocolate factory and now we're hanging out in a different 
coffee shop that's got incredible desserts. Absolutely you can delicious. Can this in half because half of it's for Eric. Eric, come here. Wow, about to try that sugary goodness. And the verdict is, well, I wanted that raspberry. I wanted that raspberry. All right, let me try it. It tastes like, it tastes like one. About you could definitely this taste the Prosecco in it. Delicious cake. What's this called? A raspberry Prosecco tort. Ooh, or tart. Tort, tart. Tart, sorry. They should call it heaven on a plate. Because it's... It's not that, that good. It's not that good. Don't exaggerate. She's killing the vibe here. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I think it's spot on. I think it tastes too much like... And I think... I don't want to share this cake with Michelle. You're good. I don't want it. It's all mine. I'm so happy right now. Mmm. There's another sushi place called Wasabi across the street. There's a, a night, night well, I think it's a club or just a bar called Asheville Beauty Academy. Maybe. Little gift store here. Oh, very cool honey merch. Very nice. Michelle, I just want to look at that mural. Okay. I just want, oh, nice. Mellow Mushroom Pizzeria. Look how cool this little building is. Okay, there's one of their many murals here. Very oh, 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 so cute. Look at that pizzeria. Eric wants to take a picture. Heck yeah. They like this mural. So according to Niche, um, Niche gives Asheville an overall grade of A minus. Uh, they get an A minus, and this is Niche.com. Sure, let's check out the store. We're checking out spear chain. Oh, it's chain. I think it's pronounced chain. We'll get back to niche.com in just a minute. Ayla. Oh, wow. Check out these tarot cards. Very cool. There's some incense for your witchcraft and your voodoo magic. Very hippie little store, I like it. Reminds me of college days, which are long gone. Some sage to uh, fight the evil spirits. The kids are like, what are we doing here? <laughs> That's cool, I like that. I do like that piece of art right there. Very nice.
This is called the Gorman Chip Company. It's just a restaurant that smells amazing in here. Different types of chips, kettle style chips. Mm, there's the menu. Paninis. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. It smells very nice in here. Very nice little eatery. I would love to check it out. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So uh, back to niche.com. Niche gives uh, Asheville an A minus overall grade, A minus for public schools, um, C plus for housing, uh, A for nightlife, B plus good for families, uh, A minus for diversity, B plus for jobs. B plus for weather, <laughs> health and fitness gets an A, but the cost of living, C plus. Look how cool this store is. Look at this nifty gift shop. How cool is that? Wow. Look at all the chandeliers. Very, very rad place. Wow. Love it. It's so colorful and so glittery. And let me smell. Mm. What kind of candle is that? Bad ass babe. That fits the description right on. Eric's looking for his plushies Don the Python and Eric got his some chocolate on the shirt already it's okay what is that Zoltar oh you cannot pass on Zoltar he will steal your life at least 20 years of it Look at that moonshine barbecue sauce. That looks pretty cool. I would try some of some chicken. I could probably use this when I'm mad and I squeeze it. Yeah, you can use it when you get mad. Show me your mad face. <laughs> keep going, keep growing. I like it. Look at all the wind. Oh. Wind chimes, all the wind chimes outside that you can have hanging on your porch. I like that. Yeah. Who are you talking to, Logan? Oh, okay. Wow. And check out these shark teeth over here. Wow. Michelle, can we get this thing? It's only 50% off. So it's $2,499. With, it's only uh, $1,250. Oh, I want to have you want You want this for your graduation present? Oh, no. What do you mean? It's kind of goofy. Kind of goofy? <laughs> what? You can take it to college with you. No, it could be your lucky stone. Who's that tarantula? There's something. 
Eric, what would you do if you woke up with that thing on your arm? You would shoot him? Okay, okay. All right, here we go. So you get to keep all the gold and diamonds? Yeah. <laughs> and here's the gemstones that you can find. That's so a nifty little gold. That's something we did at the coal mine, I think, once yeah. in, the, in, in the PA. No, it was in Roanoke. Oh, okay, Roanoke. Okay. So I'm gonna read some reviews. I'm gonna read some reviews from the locals. Uh, these folks give it four out of five stars. Asheville is gorgeous in its mountainous location, loaded with artists and those who appreciate them, and more diverse than folks realize. Housing is preposterously expensive, but so goes supply and demand, and greed, of, of, of course. Um, Another person writes, Asheville is a great place for lots of things. It can be expensive to live here unless you are well off. But the people are great and there's a great art scene. Lots of opportunities and lots of growth in the last few years. It's one of the most beautiful places in the United States to live. And I dare say the world. That's the... Uh, a sonic sample across the street okay eric what are you in the mood for what do you want to eat for your birthday I birthday love dinner us. your birthday I dinner today noodles. yeah noodles yeah, hibachi. hibachi check out this mural someone blowing a dandelion Rowan Coffee Company. I'm a big coffee lover. I'm gonna have to take a step inside Rowan Coffee Company just for a quick peek. Check out the Rowan Coffee Company. And here's their menu. Drinks. They have some pastries here. Very nice setup. Very welcoming place. Cool. I love the smell of coffee. Another person writes, four out of five stars. I love the mountains of Asheville. It's, it's a beautiful place to live. Great food and great hikes. It's the beer city of America with so many breweries. I would love to see more programs to help the homeless. Yep, I suck in that. There's a lot of it. And I would love to see the city help more with the homeless problem. Person gives it four out of five stars. Asheville is a refreshing section of blue in the otherwise red washed mountains of Western North Carolina. While Asheville may have its issues, it is as every place does. It generally, it's generally open and understanding community. That's a cool little restaurant to our left. Logan's got some thing to say about the art. The art wall here in one of these alleys. Let's take a peek. See what's on the side of this building. Uh, another person writes, I love the glorious mountains, amazing vegan food options great hiking spots and the liberal arts and social activism opportunities in the area oh big b following me back away b 
although it is very touristy city that contain continues to expand and cater to profit yielding tourists oh my god these bees just love to follow me and bumblebees and wasps and can't read a review so so needless to say this person's complaining about the rent prices and how everything's expensive but the pay is not there cars that way so if you read some good reviews let's uh read some that are not so great one person gives it two out of five stars says it's a developing city that's developing too quickly cost of living the cost of living has not kept up with the pay in the area job opportunities are limited another person writes two out of five stars person writes I lived in Asheville over half of my life now since 97 long enough to witness a massive change I worked in the outer counties and come to cherish the balance between the rural character of WNC and the original urban footprint of ABL the person keeps writing saying that it's this person writes it's completely unrecognized unrecognizable now Gent uh, gentrification exploding hotels infrastructure which cannot support the bustle and terrible air pollution are just a few nails in the coffin uh, the culture has been subsumed by a shishi upper crust sensibility that resembles any city with bankers and lawyers who want a good presentation on their plate and dive bars to look cool in all right so let's just say this guy is not a big fan of the rapid economical growth that's happening here in Asheville Chicken and Eric's got his noodles. Like yeah, that's yours. Oh, okay. really good. Ho hopefully that fills you up. Oh wow! What a spread! Good luck, buddy. Good luck with that. Ooh, let's check that out. That ball's too small for her, guys. We need a bigger one. Oh, it smells so good. It looks amazing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> have the seafood at all. Oh, that's got to be the best. No. Yeah. 
Does anybody need any hot chili oil or soy sauce? Ooh, yes, to pull. Sure. And can I, may I have more water too, please? Oh, absolutely. Wow, look at this bowl of goodness, guys. Seafood, seafood noodle bowl. Why don't you dig in? How's your noodles, mister? Me. Why can't you do it, Ryan? They're, they're, they're 10 out of 10. No, no, a 100 out of 100. And I can count all the way to 100. And I am 100 years old. Eric, how old are you today? 18. 18? Mm. You old enough to drive? I'm legally blind, and I did have glasses for like two years. You're legally blind? Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. You want to check it out? See what's over there? Oh my god, what was that? Thank God. Wonderland. Let's check it out. So Asheville is Asheville is centrally located between Knoxville, Tennessee and Charlotte. About two hours on both sides. You get to a nice big city. You can go to Bristol, which is not far away. If you want to venture out a little bit, you can drive to Atlanta, which is roughly four hours away. Atlanta, Georgia. Yep, so... <laughs> to your city park.